Hey guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. And in today's video, we are going to be showing you how we can actually set up this lovely little health bar that we have at the bottom of the screen. It does look a little bit complex and a little bit intimidating. There is a whole bunch of different elements to it. But for now, in today's video, we're just going to be showing you how to get the background in and how to get this green bar moving inside of the game so the player knows exactly how much health they have. We're not going to worry about the timer or the fuel bar or this little low health indicator or anything like that for today's video we are just going to be showing you how to set up the basic functionality for this and then the rest we will cover in another video so let's go ahead and get started now if you guys want all of the files for this you can download them all in the description in the download link below make sure you do or if you have your own heads up display you can also use that if you want to but for now everything you need is down in the download link in the description so first things first we need to create a widget blueprint that's going to contain all of the information and all of the graphics used in our heads up display. So to do that go ahead and go over to your content browser, right click, go all the way down to user interface and create a widget blueprint. And we are just going to call this HUD for now, heads up display, go ahead and name that and then just press enter to open it up. Inside of here we need to import a couple of graphics to get things started. So we need to go to the file wherever we have our graphics um, sort of set up. So for me that's just going to be in my side scroller folder. Like I said if you've downloaded everything it's all going to be inside here. So there's a couple of images that I need to import into the engine. Health bar and HUD background. So you can do this in two ways. You can either click and drag and move it in just like that or you can also press the little import button here and then just select them from the file browser manually. So you can see I've got these two images health bar and HUD background. Let's just go ahead and add those in and we've got those just here. So now with those we need to go ahead and add in an image for the background to start with. That's probably going to be the easiest bit. So go to image, click it and just drag it into the scene just like that. And if we go down to brush we can also set the image on here. This will allow us to put the background in as an image. So click that in your content uh, browser over there and then over here we just need to go ahead and press this little arrow or alternatively you can also type in the name of the image just like that and now all we've got to do is make this a little bit bigger just like that and then just drag it into the bottom center. Now it does look a little bit odd you need to make sure you do get the right size in there so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I reckon that looks about right to me. There you are. And now the next thing that we need to do then is we need to add in the health bar it's as well. But this time we're not going to be doing it as an image as we need it to be a little bit more flexible. We need to make it dynamic so it can move a little bit. So this, this time we're going to use a progress bar and we're just going to click and drag it in just like that. And then we're going to move it down here as well and we're going to stretch it out a little bit. Now there is a few changes that we do need to make to this health bar for it to actually look like the one that we've got but this will have some basic functionality to it. So let me just go ahead and show you that. So with this selected, if we go over to the details panel, scroll down a little bit and then just move the little percentage thing here, you can see it's gonna go up and down and it can show us the player health. You've got a few different bar fill types that we can use. You can do it from right to left, fill from the center, top to bottom. Just go ahead and click some of these, play around with them. So you can see if I change it from right to left, you can see it just, it just changes like that. But for us, we are going to be filling it from the center as in our Photoshop document, you can see here, we've sort of got this item in the middle of it and we want it to sort of come out from there, really. Cool. So that's all set up and that's all working. Now we need to style it. So what we need to do then is we need to go ahead and set a fill image in here. So this time we need to go to fill image, image, and then we need to go ahead and set this to health bar. Just click it and it should be just there. If not, you can also just type it in. And for the background image, we also need to do the same thing. Just type in health bar and then it should just pop up just like that. And now with this in place, we need to go ahead and sort of just scale this and just drag it in. Make it a little bit thinner if it does look a little bit odd. And um, just chuck it in just like that until you get the right size. It is a bit of a dark background so you might not be able to see it too well but it's all just going to be a matter of adjusting it really. You can just, it's, pr it's pretty straightforward, it's just like Photoshop in terms of adjustment. And there you are and I'm going to leave it at that, it looks quite good. Now there is only really one problem that I can see here at the moment. 
The center of it is like this dark green and that's not really how we're going to have it. What I want to do is have sort of the no fill color to be black and then the fill color to be green. That way the player knows that they've got health. Or you could also have the no fill to red so they know, you know, it just instinctively tells them that they haven't got enough health. You can do that. So the way that we're going to do that then is I'm going to go ahead and scroll into this and I'm going to set the background image. I'm going to set the color of this to black or you could set it to red. It's entirely up to you. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to a black and that's all good. And if we go all the way down here and you just leave fill up color and opacity, just leave that down to this change the red, the green and the blue because all this is really doing is just giving it a bit of a tint really. So you could just leave that down to whatever it is. Um, for me I'm just going to set this to green and set it to 1 and I'm going to set the opacity to 1 as well and we've got this nice green bar now. So if we click on this and if we scroll all the way down to progress you can see an example of exactly how this is going to look. So scroll out so we can see it. And then just change the percentage all the way up, all the way down, and you can see our bar is starting to come to life. It's looking really, really nice. So, now we need to set up the functionality for this bar. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So, what we need to do is we need to attach this health bar to a variable. The variable that we set up before. So, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back down to progress, and you can see we've got this little bind button. We're going to click it and press create binding. This is going to allow us to add in a little bit of code to pretty much tell the bar how much or what the percentage value should be. So there is one slight problem that we can see here straight away. First things first, it is expecting it is expecting a float value as opposed to, you know, an integer like we set up in our health system. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up our side scroller character and we are simply going to change this player health and we are going to go ahead and change the variable type to float and then we are going to change the default value to 1. This way now, so it's working exactly the same way as it does in the bar, we are going from 0 to 1. So let me just go ahead and show you that. So if we scroll over to progress or percentage, it just goes from 0 to 1 and we want to be able to sort of match that with the player health as well. So we need to go ahead and go back into our graph and we need to go into this binding. If you get chucked out of the binding for whatever reason and you're just in an event graph, you just click this little thing up here and that will take you into the binding. Or if not, you could always just go back into the HUD in the design view, click it, scroll down and then just go to binding again for there. And you can also see you've got a name for get percentage, percentage underscore zero. That's not great, so we actually need to change that. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into the graph view and we are just going to change this function and we are going to rename it to get health. Cool. So inside of this get health function, we've got to do a few things. The first things first, we need to be able to reference to the health variable. So what we've got to do, because it's a different blueprint class, we need to cast to the side scroller character and in the object it's we've got to type in get player character. So this is pretty much going to get the player this is pretty much going to get the player character information, feed it into this and now if we drag out from as side scroller character we can go ahead and get a reference to player health and we can do it just like that. And if we wanted to, we could even just link it up just like that and everything is gonna go ahead and work. So if we go ahead and compile this and press play, you can see we've got nothing on the screen. There's one more thing that we need to do to actually get this displayed because at the moment it's just a blueprint class and it's not being told to be displayed anywhere. So what we've got to do then is we've got to go into the side scroller character and we've got to create a begin play node. So right click, type in begin play, and this is going to allow us to attach a bunch of script to it that starts as soon as the player begins to play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and type in create widget. And then I'm going to in the widget class, we are just going to set this to HUD, return value, drag this out and type in add to viewport and this will add it onto the screen. If we go ahead and press compile, press play, you can see we've now got the health bar on the screen, it's at the bottom and it's looking really, really nice. But there's no way for us to test this at the moment. So what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to create a little pickup item that is actually going to take away from the player's health. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the fuel pickup and just like that. And I'm going to call this health 
drop. We're probably not going to be using this again, so don't worry about, you know, the name too much or what it's going to look like. And inside of here, instead of using the player fuel, we are going to change this to set player health. Hook it up as normal. And then as for the inputs, we need to change this to um, integer or not integer float minus float. And then at the top, we need to get a reference to player health. So drag out from as side scroller character, get player health move this along a little bit and then just hook it up and we're going to be taking away 0.25 each time the player actually picks this up and all that is going to do is pretty much just take away a quarter of the player's health and we can actually see this on the bar. So we've also got to hook this up to the whole destroy actor thing and you could also print string this if you want to just like that and each time that we pick up one of these items it will tell you exactly how much health we've got and we can also then look at that with the health bar and see if that's correct. So I'm going to go ahead and compile, press play, uh, well not press play yet, we've got, a cup, we've got to put a couple of these in the level. So I'm just going to go ahead and chuck this in here, that's one, and that's another one up here, and one more all the way over here, and that should be looking good. So press play and let's go ahead and test this. So we're not going to worry about the fuel one that we just went over and if we click this our health is going down Health is going down even more and more and more and you can see our health bar is working really really nice Anyway, that is pretty much everything for today's video I hope you have enjoyed it and your player health bar is looking great If you do have any questions or anything just let us know in the comments below There is a whole community behind us. But anyway guys. Thanks for watching keep on creating make sure you subscribe if you haven't and as always See you next time, your boy Virtus, signing out.